I haven't said much about it, but uh, we have some beautiful weather. I'm looking down at my at my phone, and it's uh, 64 degrees. Uh, we've got some cloud cover and just a slight breeze as we look at the lane assignments. And, and the Brits are really showing strong here today. Uh, a lot of them out here running, uh, getting these races in. So just beautiful weather, nice and cool, perfect for warm up, and also perfect for competing. And there is Courtney Ocolo in lane six of the United States. Personal best of 49.71. Now Ocolo has a gold medal from the four by four. She ran the uh, lead leg in the Olympics in 2016, and then she has a um, the 2019 world champion in the 4x4 as well, where she anchored in the qualifying round. So she's already tasted gold, now trying to do something here in her individual event, has a personal best of 49.61. That's from way back in 2016. Well, I mean, you're a four-time NCAA champion at 400 meters, indoors and outdoors while at she's Texas. at Texas. Yeah, you know, yeah. She knows how to win. That's and right. That, when, when you have that taste of winning time and time again, right. you just want to keep on doing it. And her coach, Tanja Buford Bailey, we share birthdays. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a text about that in a minute. <laughs> All right, underway, the women's 400 meters, Chloe Abbott, Jody Williams, Kendall Ellis, Courtney Ocolo, Jade Stepter, Shakima Wembley, and Paola Moran of Mexico rounding out the field. We talked a lot about what they were doing this year with strength and, you know, starts and doing all the little things to separate themselves. And in this race, it's so important to be able to be strong and fast. Right. On the outside, you see Jade stepped her in lane seven, running well. And now as they make their way around the final home stretch, that is Kendall Ellis of the United States, who has that personal best speed in the 200 of 2271, showing that speed. Kendall Ellis leading the way, followed by Jody Williams, but it's going to be Kendall Ellis coming to the line first to win the 400 meters. Kendall runs 50.30, Williams behind her at 51.01, and Jade Stepter 51.31. So nice run by those ladies. And Kendall Ellis showing that composure that I talked about before, you know, just sort of biding her time until she came off the turn here and really powered her way the final 100 meters. And Ellis may have wanted to run a bit faster. She's run 50, 48 so far this year. And again, a little cool, I mentioned that, but I think still pretty good weather. Uh, but maybe as the competition steps up and the scenery, the situation, the trials, what have you, come, uh, you step into that, then that time may drop. But she looks confident, strong, dominant. Did Ellis says she took the win here. Just to the right there is uh, Jody Williams of Great Britain, who finished in second. And solid running by everybody. You know, all of this getting back into traveling every weekend or every yeah. other weekend, all of that is such a big thing when it comes to being an athlete that travels around the world, around the country. You know, you have to time that. You have to time it in your training. You have to time it in your racing. you got to figure out how to, you know, just get back into the groove. And so every single race, these athletes are learning more about themselves, where they are, what they need to tweak. And hopefully we can chat with her down here with, yeah. with Andrew Weeding. I'd love to hear how she thought that race went. And so for those of you who are not aware, as those of us who do interviews, we normally could go to the athlete and uh, get to them and get these interviews a little quicker. But we can't do that now with COVID protocols. We have a stationary mic that we ask the athletes to walk over to. They're still trying to breathe, as Kendall Ellis is, and then we stand to the side and wait for them to get in position. And Kendall Ellis is stepping up to the mic, and we go down to Andrew. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks. Uh, yeah, we're here with Kendall Ellis, uh, wow, the one-lapper champ. Uh, wow. It's often misunderstood, the 400 meters, one lap. Could you break down basically how, how you, you just administer this one lap? Yeah, um, just trying to get out, stay strong, finish strong. It's a one lap sprint. There you go. And we're well, looking forward, Olympic trial standard check, Olympic standard check. So a lot of fine tuning, looking forward for an Olympic berth. What, what would that mean to you? Uh, so much. It means all the hard work I've put into my career coming full circle. And at the end of the day, you're, you're having fun, right? Absolutely. There you go. That's Kendall Ellis, your champion in the 400 meters.